stock indexes are flying this morning with the Russell, as I speak to you right now, up 5.6%. The Dow's up 2.9%, the S&P up 2.05%, and the NASDAQ up over 1.5%. Obviously, this is based on the election results. There is still a lot to play out, for example, control of the House of Representatives. So you have to be careful relying on this move as the ultimate move. In terms of data, Japanese services PMI beat expectations, but it's still in contraction. German factory orders beat expectations at plus 4.2% versus those expectations at plus 1.6% with last month's negative read revised a little bit higher. Same is true for the EU PMI, but UK construction PMI missed while still remaining in expansion territory. Yields are also up big, likely due to tariff fears. And again, some of these particular policies that newly President-elect Trump has been talking about. You've got commodities dropping as well with the dollar having one of its strongest days going all the way back to the pandemic. Commodities are dropping right now with gold, silver, copper, crude all lower. Bitcoin hit a record high, all based on what's going on with yields. The 10 year is up 22 basis points at 448. Five year 432 up 16, two year 429 up 10, 30 year 466 yield up 22 basis points. 99% probability that at tomorrow's FOMC meeting, we get a 25 basis point rate cut. The two-day meeting starts today, so obviously that's going to be the biggest thing we're looking for tomorrow. We also have a 30-year bond auction today looking ahead. Earnings today after the close, we have 166 companies with over a billion in market cap reporting, including Qualcomm, Arm Holdings, HubSpot, Take-Two Interactive, and Gilead Sciences. Tomorrow before the open, another 124 companies with over $1 billion in market cap reporting, including Duke Energy, Vistra Corp, Rockwell Automation, Halliburton, Barrett Gold, and Hershey Company. Tonight, in terms of data, we have uh, very little coming out that's important. Tomorrow, German industrial production, jobless claims in the U.S., and that Fed rate decision.